What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about this little blade lady right here. What's going on my outdoor crew? How are you doing? Man, November is screaming on through. Won't be long. The big turkey will be laid out on the table for us. And after that cometh the fat man and then the new year starts over. Can you believe we're only get like a month and a half away from a new year? It has flown by fast, I'm going to tell you. So, what I want to talk to you about is a knife I picked up at Blade Show. Um, I've been carrying it off and on since I got the thing at Blade Show. And if we can look, she's got some dents and dings and scrapes and scratches and stuff. I just cleaned the blade up for you a little bit. Had some box glue residue. You know how that goes. I mean, I'd be willing to bet 50% of our, 50 or 60% of our people that have pocket knives, they carry them every day to work and use them while they're at work. I do. And then they use it for other things. So this particular blade is the CRKT Caligo. And this one is the Blade HQ exclusive D2 steel. Normally it comes with the 8 CRV 13 MOV or something like that. I don't have any notes. Winging it. Um, but it has aluminum body. It's all black and anodized. Oh wow. Black oxide. That's it. Black oxide uh, finish on it. Um, the big thing about this knife, it's a little over seven and a half inches long. Uh, I don't know if that would get you in trouble in some of your locations. Fine here. Uh, we can almost carry a machete in Tennessee. Um, the cool part about this knife is it only weighs 3.4 ounces. So some of you hikers and stuff that are looking for lightweight, this is pretty lightweight. I'm sure there's some lighter weight stuff, but 3.4 ounces is pretty good. Um... If you're wondering about the shininess on there, that is not from anything other than uh, using a little KPL on the pivot. This does have the IECKT, I think it is, um, ball bearing system in it. So it's smooth to begin with, but when I put a little bit of this on it, it got a lot smoother. Um, designer of this knife is TJ Schwartz. If you read up on him, his passion and background of starting out was automotive. He wanted to be a car designer. Well, he ends up designing some pretty cool knife. I can say that. And if you look at it, if you look at the knife up close, you can see the swoops in it like, you know, you would see in the old classic cars that had the swooping tail fins and that kind of stuff. So I get that whole he wanted to be a car designer and ended up being a good knife designer. So, um, you know, I, that didn't, that wasn't my decision on buying it. I was looking at two different knives, this one and something else. And this one just caught my eye. And after I played with it for a little bit, played with the other one for a little bit, I liked this one a lot better. I thought this one's more of a functioning knife. Um, and when I say functioning knife, this thing can do everything from opening your boxes to you know whittling a fire stick or whatever you want to put it to use um, i don't think knives have any one particular thing they do better than the others uh it's just use it um everybody always looks at the blade lock up i'll show you that real quick right there see yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty well centered um let's look at it with it closed and you'll look and see it's pretty well centered when it's closed. So, um, the, your downside, some of you guys will, you know, balk at this. You can't change where the clip goes. Clip only goes in one location, and that's your clip. So, you have that much of a blade sticking up out of your pocket. Now, you can put a lanyard on it if you want to. I'm not a big lanyard on your pocket knives, dude. Used to be. I used to throw them on every dad blame knife I had, but not anymore. Um, so what I'll do too is I'll leave a link to Blade HQ on this knife 
Now, I'm not affiliated with Blade HQ. They do not pay me a thing. They're not giving me discounts. If Blade HQ sees this, hi, my name is Patrick. I'm at the outdoors. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll let you go check it out. It's the D2, or if you decide you'd rather have the MR or the 8 CRV MOV 1813, whatever it is. Like I said, I, I just I use them. But my honest opinion on it, it's a lightweight knife. It's not beating you up carrying it every day. And it works. The pivot system on it, it is a flipper. You'll see the the uh, finger grab right here to flip it open. And it flips open right nice. I have no problems with this knife. I, I mean, I love carrying this knife. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's my initial impressions on the knife. And been carrying it for a while like i said it's got some dents and dings it's it's been carried it's been dropped it's been uh, it, it it's a working knife so with all that said don't forget to check out all my links down below also don't forget to subscribe share and like this video and leave comments now i'm not a knife guy i'm not a guy that knows all the stuff but what i will give you is my personal opinion of the knife um, yeah, I wish they had made it where you could change the clip around, but actually the pocket I carry that in, that's perfect. So when I whip it out, I can flip it out. So, all right, I've said enough. Uh, if you want one, go get one. I think they're a pretty knife. I think it's a nice knife. It's CRKT. Um, you know, if it's, it, it is what it is. So with all that said, be prepared.